What's going on guys? It's me Shikashu. We are back with another Uma Musume video. And in this video, we will just be continuing our League of Hero League of Heroes attempts with uh five tickets today and then five tickets until the last day where we will use all ten tickets because we didn't use the five tickets from yesterday's video. Uh, why do I do that? It's just to keep it simple. I mean I wanna Well, one of my thoughts processes when it or thoughts that I had when I thought about doing that was <laughs> it'll give me a chance to change up my team if I do manage to train but I'm, I'm kind of I, I feel like I want to tap out with the long distance training for now and just <laughs> go back to medium distance and focus on the CM at this point so most likely we'll just stick with the top road that i have or i'll just i don't know we'll see what happens but most likely we'll just stick with this team that we've been using since yesterday and just see how far we go with it honestly at this point it's whatever <laughs> i did try training kitas the highest one was a ue and that's all i had so uh, low-key kind of getting tired of the, the long distance training for now so i think i might move on to the medium distance training for the cm and see how that goes before we i before i start recording for that obviously which would be at the end of cm but other than that uh before we jump into the attempts itself and into the comments if you guys haven't joined a circle and you guys are still looking for one or I just couldn't really find one to join. Feel free to join the circle that I'm in. It is called Shushu. Once you hit join, you should be automatically approved. I did see probably about 45 minutes to an hour ago. Yes, I was I was still I was training <laughs> that key that I was talking about, the UE. And uh I went to I decided to go check the circle and I was like, oh, there's still one spot left, so. I'm here to let you guys know that there is still a spot available. If you want to join, there it is. It is still up for grab. So join while it's still there. And if you guys want, leave it down in the comments. Let me know that you joined and what your end game name is. Just so we know who's who in the circle. But other than that, let's uh, get these attempts started and see how we are going to do in today's Liga Hero attempts and also see how far we're going to make it with the uh, team that we have. Other than that, I do have the comments pulled up now. And uh, first couple comments, as per usual, it is uh, gonna be from Nova and seeing a familiar site from before, <laughs> before he went to his little break overseas. Uh, his little, mo uh, multiple comments other than that let's go start with the first one hold on we got sun uh i think we'll just we'll just go for it but yep the league of heroes is just dormante goes burst so far i'm sure she'll fall off once we get into golden plat but i'm just coping on one uma this time around it's definitely hard to recover from a hiatus. It's almost like recovering from a coma. Well, I wouldn't know how it is to recover from a coma, but I can imagine that it'll be hard. <laughs> it would be hard. Um, but yeah, you'll be fine. You could literally just take the last like was it month, uh, last month of the UAF scenario, and just take it off. And just maybe just take the time to get comfortable with it. And then when the new tr training scenario comes along, what is it next next month? Is it next month? I think it is next month. And then you can uh, start strong there, maybe. So that's just my thoughts on it. But moving on to the next one. Weathering Waves might be hype for me just because it's a new Genshin. One that will hopefully resolve a lot of the criticisms I had about Genshin all this time. It might be, it might give me Genshin flashbacks, but hopefully doesn't deter me from playing. Hmm. I think, 
I think for you, I, I'm pretty sure you are already is pretty much going into the game. Pretty sure you're going into the game open minded. And we'll, we'll probably give it. I don't know, more of a chance, maybe. Because I feel like just from the one global trailer I saw, I feel like maybe just maybe. <laughs> uh. It can be a little bit more different than what we think. So we'll just see what happens when the game actually comes out in like a week. Uh, one gotcha I left out on that list was Snowbreak since I did play it a bit in Taiwan. Oh, I see. My friend there convinced me to play again after dropping it a few weeks after it first came out. I dropped a hundred buck bucks on there and got the shotgun chick to C1. Still, the co-op was kind of boring and I didn't feel motivated to keep going. To me, the models for that game looks kind of weird. I know they went the full degen route, but the gameplay is still the same for me. I didn't, I didn't even know you even tried Snowbreak. <laughs> but um, it's crazy that you just dropped a hundo though. And then <laughs> still, you know, have the same feelings so, though. I'm more worried about the hundo than the game itself, <laughs> but I'm assuming the shotgun chick would probably be the blonde chick that they're talking about. Probably. Um, I don't really necessarily do co-op. I'm not going to lie. Even at the times where I did search because I wanted to get um, co-op in the events. Uh, haven't didn't really f match up with people, so everything I've been pretty, everything I've done in Snowbreak has been pretty much solo. Even though like with the co-op option, they'd be like, "Are you sure you just want to go solo or some something like that?" And I'd be like, "Yeah," because apparently I can't find anyone, which is weird. But um, let's see. The models are different. I'll give that. Uh, so it it was more like a. It's not that I don't like them, but I kind of do at the same time. It's kind of like a like a love hate relationship with it. Like I don't really hate it at all. Um, but I do like it at the same time because it's different from like the typical. Um. I guess the typical model you would see. I guess from what I see is like the Genshin Hoyo one, and then from like typical anime models, I guess. That's what I'm trying to say. I'd say we did pretty well in that first attempt over here. Uh, can we just do this button? Can I just, it's just this button, right? Yeah, just. Okay. All right. Uh, cloudy. So we might as well use that one. And then, all right. Uh. Now that I think about it, the CM is a medium distance, which means I got tons of Umas that I can use. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. That's like. I would say the most heavily stacked distance, I would say. It would be medium distance. Um, I got a lot of Mejuros and even Marvelous can be used. This is actually going to be hard to choose my roster this time. I'm keeping Duramente and Palmer, but who is the third slot? Should be a leader or a betweener. Hmm. Yeah, for me, I'm having trouble on that third spot obviously in one of the spots is for the tachyon that i pulled i did mention it in the <laughs> the tachyon video that i was going to use her for the cm if i do end up pulling for her and i did so might as well use her since most of her stuff not most of her stuff pretty much her whole kit is revolving around medium distance so I think it's like I said, she's best at medium distance, but 
better, like way better if it's 2,000 meters. 2,400, she'll still be really good, but she's at like her best at 2,000 because she can, uh, but I guess buff her, <laughs> her teammates, like increase the speed of her teammates with um one of her evolved skills. So that's pretty crazy. Kind of wish that was the case for um this next CM, but it's 2,400. So next time it hits medium distance, even if it's not a CM and it's a League of Heroes, I wouldn't mind trying it out either way. Uh... And the last comment from Nova says, 90 days of asking Shushu to add me on reverse 99. I mean, I could still add you. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I'm pretty sure you had put your UID from the past. That was like a long time ago, though. That was like a couple months ago, but I can go back to that comment and then add you in reverse. I might do it. <laughs> um, but I. I'm pretty sure you're just doing that to troll me. It's cool, though. I'll probably I'll probably still add you, though. <laughs> it's OK. It's OK. Y'all saw yesterday I did uh, follow Ren, so it ended at day two, so that's okay. <laughs> Other than that, that is pretty much it all, um, from Nova, so thank you for all the comments, Nova. Oh, I didn't read this. Um, in the first comment that Nova posted, he added a reply saying, I saw a couple of UDs and I'm scared. Yeah. But who knows? Maybe... Maybe you can somehow beat them, you know? So the next comments are going to be from Tanoki. First one says Nova taking their rightful place, being first with a whole bunch of comments. The comment section never felt the same when he was gone. Honestly, true, because usually when I go and check the comment section for the comments, I'm used to seeing like four or five comments from Nova. Basically, I would just see like a pink circle. <laughs> and I would know it was, it was from Nova, so yeah, I, I, I get you with that feeling. The next one says, wait, is the new CM information out? It's actually been out for nearly a month now since uh, last April, like the 19th or something like that. Uh, and I, I, I think I mentioned it probably a week or two ago after or during Ren's comment, because I went, I do remember checking, uh, looking up the CM information in one of the videos past like a week or two. At least that's what I would like to believe. But I, I have mentioned the CM uh, a couple of times, more specifically that it was medium distance, uh, 2,400 meters. So yeah, besides that, uh, I think off the top of my head, it is uh, Tokyo Shiba Racetrack. 2400 meters it is a left so counterclockwise spring because it is a spring season cloudy heavy conditions at noon i think something like that if i get it wrong i get it wrong but uh let me actually check let me go to the Uma Musume website, news, and now we got to search, search, uh, okay, game news, and I got to go to a month ago, and yep, May, not May, <laughs> uh, April 19th, 2024. Uh, yeah, Tokyo Chiba, 2,400 meters left, spring cloudy, heavy noon. Yeah, that's pretty much what I just said. How I remember that exactly, that is beyond me. <laughs> I think I'm I think I'm just excited to get out of League of Heroes long distance. Uh, but the next comment, the last comment from Tanoki says, 
Fourth place should be the worst you get any match in League of Heroes since they're only facing three Umas from another player unless you lose to a mob character. That would be crazy. That would be crazy. <laughs> Losing to one of these mob characters would be crazy. Hopefully it's never happened to anyone, but it'd still be crazy. Other than that, thank you for the comments to Noki. And the final comment. Let me just make sure it's the final comment and there aren't any more. Yeah, it looks like it is the final comment. All right, so the final comment is going to be from Eugen. Day one, leave a hero's result. Reach silver rank one. Silver one rank with 4,000 points. Five tickets remaining. Plan to use the extra on the fifth day. Pretty much what I am doing. You can know with 17 out of 25 wins. Excuse me. You can know with 17 out of 25 wins, followed by Twin Turbo with four and Sounds of Earth with one. So in total, y'all, you had 22 wins. That's pretty good. Although it is the beginning, so it shouldn't be too bad for us. Um, their current Uma record rating is 96%, 84, 84 of all 25 races, respectively. Of course, no match for the meta UD Laurel and Lolly Bright I encountered, which ranked me to or five and six. Uh, try, ooh, maybe. Hmm. Do I just randomly train a Laurel and see how high she can get? Maybe, maybe, maybe I'll do do that. I'll try maybe one or two Sakura Laurel uh, trainings for these League of Heroes and see how well it does. If it's good enough, then we can replace Narita top road. But we'll see. Um, I think that is one of the very few ones that I've seen Cap win. I don't know. It's mostly Dio winning, if I'm not mistaken. At least that's what I think. Can I find out? Can I? Uh, maybe here. Nope, it's just going to start the race. Yeah. It is what it is. Um, trying to improve Sound of Earth, but, but it's difficult for my current support cards on for long distance. I'm only using uh, one Limit Break Creek with zero bond start and... Renting Wise Cafe for Acceleration Gold Skill. So I decided to train grandparents factors like the usual on the Oharu scenario. Secure three important wide factors for runners, self-control, essence of racing sh racing energy, and Oharu wisdom on Katsuragi Ace, regardless of the blue or red factors. Currently working Chocoban or Suzuka using that, that Katsuragi Ace as a parent, plus renting Mayano with the same three factors. After that, I will move to Kita-san, then go back into re rotation with Katsuragi Ace. Hopefully, I'll be able to make a good factor to share. Yeah, that... That's a lot. I just... That sounds like a lot to me. <laughs> I'll be real. Um, but good luck on all that, honestly. Let's see. So, my cap has one, two... Out of, I guess, for 40? I guess out of 40 races. And then... Daya has won 23 out of 40. And then... Top Road had won 8. So eight, 31, 33. So out of 40 races, 33 uh, wins for my team, which isn't too bad. Isn't too bad. Uh, we do have 10 more attempts to go, oh, not 10 more attempts, uh, two more tickets. So 10 more races to go. So we'll go on with that as we continue on with the comment, but let's see. Uh, let's definitely raise the mood now. I should have started this on uh, the last one, but we'll bring up the mood. It is cloudy. Let's just give him a little, little bit of that. 
and then uh, press that and let's see but that is a lot of work and yeah i do wish you luck and hopefully you get it sooner than later uh why am i doing this to increase compatibility compatibility of skills uh, appearing during inheritance i feel like i said it wrong either way i'm gonna keep going especially if both parents and grandparents have these three skills i mentioned so chances the chances the skills to appear will be higher and it's most difficult white factor so i'm saying since it came from the alharu uh ura finals once i got them three ready i'll worry about getting the right left turns position sense danger avoidance white factors which is easy to get from support cards that is true they are more they're uh, viable through or accessible through support cards. Uh, I'm not grinding that much. It's just me since I do not pay for this game. I only use energy available, which um able to make me two to three runs, including the use of reroll, especially with the half TP consumption event. Well, if I'm a whale, I will not worry to every small details and we'll just go for basic Blue red factors, inheritance. <laughs> True. True. If we were all whales, we'd probably not worry about all these setups and all that, but. Yeah. Although to me, it sounds like you're grinding a lot because I don't do the same amount of grinding that you do. So if you call yours not grinding too much, I can't imagine how it really looks. To really grind for this game. <laughs> you would have to have your own good parents to begin with. Because you have five rentals a day. So yeah, you would have to have your own good parents. If you want to continuously train throughout the day. By using you know your carrot juices and all that. But I do respect it though. I do respect the grind though. So. Thank you, uh, Eugene, for the comment, and also Tanoki and Nova for the comments as well. Other than that, we are pretty much done with that. Don't have anything else to really go over. So we'll just go overlook these races and see what uh, we talk about. <laughs> Honestly, Top Road is doing better than my agree cap it's weird she does have eight wins i don't know if she won yet here but um she has eight wins to agree's two or i guess three now <laughs> or to agree's three <laughs> so i'm kind of just like mm. but it's weird because she is my highest rank i think she's still ranked higher than my dial and I think, wait, isn't my top road also UE6? Yeah, they're all UE6s, actually. Uh, so, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like... <laughs> Is Cap gonna catch up before I say what I gotta say? Did Cap win? She did. Isn't it weird how, like, ever since I mentioned that maybe I'll just... Uh, I mentioned how she was doing better than, uh... Our top road was doing better than Cap. And then she just won two back-to-back -back while I was talking about it. It's like... It's like she's trying to catch up to top road's wins so I can replace top road instead. Because I'm thinking about training Laurel... Give her a few attempts and see if I can get a lucky one to, you know, replace one of them. But I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but we we could m most likely make it a silver four if we at least get 900. So let's hope for the best. Are there any? Yep, <laughs> UD for there. There ain't no way. Oh my gosh, there's a turbo here also. That's a UD, but uh, we'll see how it goes. We just need to reach 900, so I hope that's not gonna be too tricky. We'll just use that. Why not? Why not? All 
All right, hoping for the best for the first three. Well, I'm trying to think. Because we can only, what, max out at 200 points? So if we can get... <laughs> I was going to say, if we can get at least 200 for the first four, then we'll be at 800, and we can be okay with 100 for the last one. But I don't know if that can happen. I don't know if that can happen. All right, now we got UE5s and UE6 as our opponents. I think right now, because I wanted to stop training long distance, I do have a Duramente medium distance training going on. I think I just started it and then left it there. So I'll give that a shot first and then uh, try out Sakura Laurel. Oh no, are we going to lose here? No, we're not. Yee. Thought we won. Can we still get like 900? I don't think we need 900 exactly. I think we can get like a little less. I just don't exactly know how much more. Cool, cool. Love to see it. Although I think Cap's going to stay behind. Or not. I still see her. Okay. Daya's killing it, to be honest. But Top Road's been keeping up. Well, not in wins, but you know what I mean. Okay, another 200. My top road's not that bad, and she was kind of just, uh, I just wanted to train her, right? Why well, I have a bad feeling seeing this Kita and Turbo? Turbo specifically gave me a bad feeling for some reason, because she was the UD, if this is the fourth one. But, Ke but seeing Kita also, because it's a long distance Kita. Ooh, I believe Kita still won that. Oh. M My Daya barely beat that Kita. I think we oh. we're not winning this. They got two UDs. We're not winning this. Upset? Nah, no way. No upset, right? My Daya is lagging behind, so this is one of her bad races. Yeah, I don't think anyone can catch up to this uh, Narita Brian. Yeah, not even close. Look at that gap. I don't think we got enough to go to Silver 4 because of that. Yeah. Right? That wasn't enough. We need. We still need one more to get to silver four. Yeah, we still need one more. We had two bad ones. We did pretty bad in the last one. So yeah, if we had gotten, I don't remember the scores that I got. Oh, right here. So we had gotten a total of six hundred. 760, I think. My math is right. 760. Yeah. If we had gotten, um, like. I can't calculate right now, but we, we were, we, we were capable of making it to silver four. Uh, if we had just gotten maybe just literally 170 po 170 here and maybe maybe had gotten 190 out of this one instead i don't even know if that's possible well like 190 or just got gotten to 200. it's whatever i mean we almost did it <laughs> we almost did it but my team's not bad for what it is but it is still silver 
once we hit gold, we should start seeing more of the UDs, maybe a UC, who knows? Um, and then especially in platinum, it should be harder than that. But we're almost there. We're almost there to uh, gold. So next video, we should be able to make it a gold. And then from there, we'll just see how far we get into that. And then hopefully make it to plat. Realistically, probably plat three, the plat three, the highest, but it could be like a high plat two. And if I'm really lucky, then we're looking at plat four, but I don't see it happening. <laughs> I don't see it happening. But with that being said, guys, that is going to be pretty much it for this video. So if you guys didn't make it this far, I do want to say thank you. If you guys can hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below and let me know your results for day two. Obviously, my results will be a little bit different from yours. Well, probably besides the Eugen, unless you are five tickets behind, then yeah, my results will be different from your guys. But let me know yours and um, you, uh, let me know your guys' results from the second day. And also anything else you guys do want to talk about doesn't have to be just pretty derby related it can be anything any other games anime and all that put it down in the comments as long as you guys keep it appropriate i'll go over it and for one last time for the video if you guys haven't joined a circle or you just haven't found a circle to join feel free to join the circle that i'm in it is called shushu once you click join you should be approved right away and if you if you want to I'll let, also let me know down in the comments that uh, you joined and what your in-game name is, just so we know who's who in the circle. But other than that, guys, wish you all luck in the League of Heroes. And with that being said, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. <laughs>